Okay, this is chapter 7 in the Getting to Know ArcGIS textbook, and we're doing 7a, and we're on page 208. And I've already started ArcMap, and we want to open the EX07A map document, so um, let's go to Browse for More here. And uh, the last place I was was chapter 4, so I need to go up a couple of levels here to get to chapter 7. And I want EX07A, and we will open that up. And this doesn't look like much. This is a picture of the ocean floor terrain along the Florida coast. And we need to add some data to it. So we're going to go up here on our toolbar, and there is the Add Data button. Click on it. And we want to go to our Chapter 7 data. And we're in the GTK ArcGIS and Chapter 7 uh, data. And I want to go to the Florida Geo Database. So let's open that up. And I want um, bathymetry and everything to, I guess I want all to click on this one and shift click on the last one which will give me everything and click on add and this is what we end up with. Our colors are going to be different because um, ArcMap just selects random colors but uh, the image otherwise should be the same as what we see on page 209. I'm not sure what algorithm it uses for uh, deciding the order of the layers over here, but it looks like it, what it may do is put the uh, polygons on the bottom in alphabetical order and perhaps the lines above that in alphabetical order and the uh, points above that in alphabetical order, which makes sense. You want the points on top and you want the polygons on the bottom. Now let's go to page 210 and in the table of contents click anywhere in the white area to clear the selected areas. Right now they're all highlighted in blue so they're selected and I'm just going to click and now the selection goes away. And we're going to do some renaming here and the easy way I think to do it is just click once and then click a second time with a pause in between and I want to call this historical shipwrecks. Make sure you don't double click when you do that. Uh, just click once and then click again. Uh, highway 1, click once, click twice, and we're going to call this US. Let's try that again. Route 1. And rivers, we're going to rename major rivers. So let's go to the beginning of this and type the word major. And lakes, we're going to call major lakes. So click once, click twice, and major. And hit enter. And ST Parks, we're going to change the name of that. Click once, click twice. And we're going to change the ST to the word state. And the last thing is, notice this is a TIFF file. And I don't remember for sure what the T is for. I think it might be tagged image file or tagged image format or something like that. But it's basically a picture file, kind of like a JPEG, uh, which is different from. Uh, the other files we've got on this map. All the other files are either polygons or lines or points. And we're going to change the name of this to uh, Ocean Background. And uh, it looks like they take the file extension off the end, so we will too, and hit enter when you're done. And we want to turn off, I'm on number 7 now on page 210, we want to turn off cities and historical shipwrecks. Uh, those are the two point layers up here. and uh, it needs to redraw all the time when we do that. And in the table of contents, we want to click the line symbol under bathymetry to open the symbol selector. So here is the bathymetry label, and we want to um, click it, and that opens the symbol selector dialog box right here, and we can change the symbol. Uh, we want to click the color arrow over here, and this gives us a palette of colors to choose from. 
and we want uh, Sugalite Sky as shown in the graphic, which is this one right here. If you pause the mouse, it should come up. So, uh, kind of a light blue color for the bathymetry, and then we're going to click on OK. And the bathymetry is these uh, lines of elevation here in the ocean. Now let's turn to page 212. In the table of contents, drag bathymetry below state parks. So we're going to put that almost on the bottom. Drag it way down here. And now let's go to uh, page 213, number 11. Right-click the symbol for the major rivers layer to open the color palette. So uh, major rivers is right here. Right-click on it. And um, I made a mistake there. I should have right-clicked on the symbol. The symbol is down here. So, um, And we want color. And we want oxide blue, which is right there, I think. Yes. So click on that and click on OK. And now our rivers are going to be oxide blue. Now we're on number 12. Click the symbol below major lakes and uh, so major lakes right here. Click the symbol. We get this same symbol selector that we've been seeing. Uh, for the fill color we want um, oxide blue and uh, on the down arrow and oxide blue was this one so we're going to make that the same color as the rivers it looks like click on OK and it says we can't see the lakes because the lake features are obscured by another polygon layer so I assume we'll fix that soon uh, let's go to page 214. Number 13 says drag major lakes just below major rivers. So let's, uh, it's probably be hiding behind counties here, which you know is all of these divisions of the state of Florida. So uh, it's pretty much going to fill in all of Florida. Anything that's underneath that, we're not going to see. So let's drag major lakes up here right below major rivers. And now we can see a few lakes are appearing. And uh, now let's go to number 14 on page 214. Open the symbol selector for US Route 1. So um, here's US Route 1. Click on the symbol. And um, for the color, we want Mars red. That's the brightest red. And for the width, we want 1.5. So color here is going to be right there is Mars red, I think. Yep. And the width is going to, if I click on the upper arrow, it goes to 2. So we're going to have to type in 1.5. And then we can click on OK. So Route 1, I think, is this line here that goes along the coast. And we're going to make it red now instead of green. And there it is. Uh, let's go to number 15. It says turn on historical shipwrecks. So we'll turn that on. And we've got some shipwrecks out here along the southern coast of Florida. And number 16. Um, in the table of contents, right-click historical shipwrecks and click zoom to layer. So this layer only goes from here to here, so we're going to zoom in basically on a little box around that layer. So let's right-click and choose zoom to layer. And now this should match the picture on page 215. And um, on your own, it says change the scale to exactly 1 to 3 million, and then use the pan tool to drag the landmass to the center of the display. So right now, um, it is 1.8 million. So let's go to 3 million. And hit Enter, and that will back us out a little bit. And it says drag the land mass to the center of the display. Well, as far as I can tell, it's pretty close to the center of the display right now. I'll drag it over just a little bit. Unfortunately, it has to do a complete redraw every time you do that. Uh, bottom of page 215, number 17, right-click layers, the data frame name, which is right here, and then click properties. So right-click and we want the properties for all of, this is for all of the layers now, and click the data frame tab, which is right here. 
and in the extent used by full extent command frame click on other so extent used by full extent command frame click on other and now let's turn to page 216 and then we want to click on specify extent and on the full extent dialog box which is this dialog box right here click the current visible extent option current visible extent right there and then click OK and OK again to complete the task. So click on OK and click on OK again. OK. And now let's go up here and try clicking on full extent and see what we get. And this now is the full extent of our chart as opposed to all of Florida, which is what we had before. Uh, page 217, number 19. Finally, in the table of contents, click the data frame. Uh, layers twice to slowly make it edible and change its name to South Florida Recreation. So click, we've already clicked on it once, click on a second time and you should be able to edit and it doesn't look like I'm able to edit. Um, there we go, just a little slow reacting. So now I want to call this South Florida Recreation and hit enter and now I've renamed it. And now we're at the bottom of page 217, and to save your work, rename your map document to save to your My Data folder for Chapter 7. And so we will do that. We will do, we have to do a Save As to change the name. So do a Save As, and I want to put it in My Data, and I'll just leave the name the same. I know if it's in My Data, it's one that's been modified by me. And number 21 says, if you're continuing to the next exercise, keep ArcMap open. Otherwise, exit the application and click No if prompted to save your changes. So we're going to leave it open. And now uh, we will go on to exercise 7B in the next video.